Well, howdy, pilgrim. I guess it's going to take you and another army to beat me. And that's my best John Wayne impression. And, uh, hey, it's Drew the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Picking, as you know. And, uh, gosh, every time I go out of the house, I make some great finds, guys. And I'm always thinking of you guys in mind when I'm out there. Always thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm going to get home and show these guys what I found. Oh my god. Anyway, there's some cool stuff today. So, uh, let's go to it. Uh, there's another one over here. And, uh, well, let's start over here first. So, you've seen this before in one of my other videos. This beautiful folk art, profusely carved folk art wood blanket chest, miniature blanket chest with these great flowers and I just wow just couldn't believe I I found this item and what of a one-of-a-kind item but um, you know sometimes you drink you know you have a cocktail or two and you just don't know like when you've drank too much that you like you might be seeing double and you don't know if your eyes are playing tricks on you but you're definitely seeing double and you just don't know why but in this case these are actual things you are not seeing double I found a matching one that I bought recently and showed you in a video at the same store so what had happened was these were donated to a store or acquired by a store and put in boxes and as it as they came out of the store they got separated but now I have a pair look at that oh my gosh can't contain myself amazing this one's just as amazing as the other one plus this has the original lock right there and the key the other one that I had this one did not have the lock and the key so there looks like they're made out of like a mahogany oh no maybe it's a pine yeah because it's a soft wood to be carved with beautiful matching now if you sell these as a matching pair you can just add 25 percent on top of just doubling the item because people will pay at least 25 percent to 50 percent more and sometimes even more for a matching pair so that's amazing um, here we go we got a very cool retro item in the box and it's a vintage Taylor roast meat thermometer porcelain in the original box this is um, gosh this thing's got to be got to do this carefully this thing's got to be uh, what like 70 years old 80 years old 70 years old 60 years old well somewhere in there 60 to 70 years old I'd say this is something like your parents or their parents would have used and it's this incredible glass thermometer with a black tip I've never seen that I've only seen silver and red tipped thermometers it's red and then the silver from the mercury I don't know what that is all about but I uh, haven't tested it <clears throat> beautiful in the box with all the little paperwork I really don't know what this is what is this I don't know what that is but that comes with the thermometer it's got its original little pamphlet in there let's just open it up I think it's really cool might as well take a look at it while we have it here whoa almost a wipeout this is hard to do with one hand guys look at this it gives all the um, <clears throat> different instructions on cooking with this thermometer and what you can expect it's just in pristine condition okay I can't really get it open with one hand so I'm gonna put it back in the box and then we're gonna put this so there we go there's your porcelain over tin meat thermometer vintage um, put that in the box 
let's go over prices real quick um, just before I get started this extra little box which I forgot to mention the price was 35 it was marked 35 I got it for like $20 you guys so between these two boxes I'm liking it for 40 bucks or 45 bucks something like that the pair has got to be worth 150 200 dollars you know in the folk art category easy um, this meat thermometer it was priced five dollars I got it for like three in the box nice little find now we go to this item this is a uh, a wall pocket or some people call it a salt box or um, but it's a wall pocket box with a lollipop shaped back plate that's what that shape is lollipop obviously it's got the hole there so you put it on a nail or you can just use it on the countertop but what I do with these is I paint these up and distress them and make them look really old in my classic color and people will buy this for like 40 to 50 bucks pretty amazing because it's just it's a vintage item and then when I paint it they just dig it they're just waiting for me to paint them to sell them so uh, I'm always looking for uh, stuff to paint and there you go uh, that was eight dollars I think I actually got that for more like six so heck of an item I'm gonna probably sell that for thirty nine ninety nine when it's done so nice profit there uh, this was very cool I think this might be a school project of somebody's uh, possibly I just don't know it's very professionally done but here's what leads me to believe that this is a incredible that you know beautifully handmade cutting board wood cutting board and it's got your different kinds of wood I don't know what this is this is some type of hardwood and then we go to maybe some kind of ash and then a darker color that might be a different type of wood and then back to an ash or what have you a lighter color wood and then this is what really got me right here this is like rosewood I think and rosewood is like a major endangered species very expensive wood either that's rosewood or mahogany red mahogany either way pretty incredible to have that in a cutting board with a built-in handle very comfortable so no markings on that I don't know if that's a factory piece or if that's you know individually handmade or by somebody in a shop wood shop in school or something but extremely excellent excellent item on that uh, it was marked twelve dollars I got it for I think I got it for eight so that that board right there is a fifty dollar board forty to fifty dollars with inlaid yeah easy then the star of the show I think well I like the other ones but there's the Duke uh, yeah you mess with me pilgrim so I don't have a great John Wayne impersonation for you but look at this it's a three-dimensional piece of art all carved out of a piece of wood you know me I love this carved stuff let me show you the dimension of that it's just out of a single piece of wood but it's thicker and then wherever he you know he carves the whole thing back in relief if you can see that and uh, I'm a sucker for this stuff this was particularly good to find this original one-of-a-kind signed by the artist so let's go top to bottom you got all these bricks from the facade of the building then you got this beautiful door that's opening inward he's got the perspective just right he shows you all that black space back there so you get that depth feel then you got the Duke right here and in back there's <clears throat> the sign sheriff sheriff something county and then the the window that's all recessed back here and you see the thickness of the wall so he's foreshortening and, and forcing the perspective to to make this look three-dimensional which it actually is <clears throat> but when you stand back you really see that John Wayne is just coming out of that piece of wood and uh, for the thing that really got me was the chair well the, the figure is incredible but look at the chair <clears throat> I mean you can almost like put your beer down on that and he, see how that artist is showing you in perspective 
he's forcing your eye to look like it's super deep but it's not it's only like quarter of an inch deep beautiful that is very hard to do a very a mark of a very good artist right there and look at the Duke's belt with the bullets and he's just ready to go he's got his bandana on really superior nice piece of art and then you go down here to the floorboards on the porch they're all done also perspective perfect perspective making it look like it's completely three-dimensional and much deeper than it is and then he's carved the steps back here there's dimension back here it's phenomenal and there's the artist's name and um, I'll have to do some more investigatory work on this artist which it appears to be R. Chavez <clears throat> he's definitely not an amateur anyways that's me Drew the California Picker sorry for the long oh no I'm not done sorry gosh and the star of the show you're probably wondering what this little box is over here but this also is kind of a nice little icing on the cake it's a, first of all it's a box from Minox which is a very cool small miniature camera company they, were, they used to build the used to make the smallest camera in the world but look at this guys 12 karat gold filled br bracelet heart bracelet links really nicely made and I got this for like a very good price let's just say that and uh, that's going to be it's going to make somebody real happy look at that beautiful little nice pierced gold filled heart bracelet it needs to be cleaned up it's got some green going on or whatever but what you do is you take some scrubbing bubbles, you know those bubbles that bubble up in your shower? You take some of that, you put that in your hand or put that in a cup, and you spray some of that in there, and you just let it go to town. Whether you have gold or whatever, it's it's like cleans it all up. So that's how I do it. Hopefully it's not, you know, it's not too dirty. It's really a nice bracelet. So anyways, that's me, Drew the California Picker, saying, come on back, pilgrim. All right? Please um, hit like and sub and share and comment. Come on back to California Piggin. All right. Cheers, guys.